Hi, my name is Chris Granger, and I'm going to present Lighttable, a concept for a new IDE. Let's take a look. Now, as you can see, we have some code on our canvas. One of the guiding principles behind Lighttable is that documentation should be available wherever and whenever you need it. So as you see here, as I click around on different symbols, the doc strings as well as the parameters list are shown to the right. This makes it really nice when you're reading code that you're unfamiliar with. Sometimes, though, the things you need to find aren't available in the code already. So as you can see here, I brought up a find dialog, and I typed noir.core to find out what's in the noir.core namespace. Or here, I'll type hiccup, and well, let's see what's in the hiccup.element namespace. And as you can see, I'm able to click on these and open them up to find out more information about them. But the nice thing about having searchable documentation anywhere I need it is that let's say I don't know what I'm looking for. All I know is I want something to deal with middleware. I type middleware, and you can see I'm getting things from all over, basically all the things on my class path currently. Having these resources available to you is especially nice when reading code. But what about writing code? Now, people familiar with Lisp or other dynamic languages have probably seen a REPL before. You type some code, press enter, and you get the evaluated result. What you're seeing here, though, is a live document. Imagine, basically, all the code that you type gets evaluated immediately, and you see the result on the right-hand side. But having a document is a little bit different than having a REPL. Instead of just seeing the result, I get to see how data flows through my program. In this example, we're actually seeing how the value 3 flows through the functions x and y. Now note that the local variables are actually getting replaced. a becomes 3, b becomes 30, and ultimately results in 35. What this amounts to is a sort of real-time debugging. Now those examples were relatively simple. Let me show you something a little more interesting. So you can see here I've included noir.core, and I'm creating a partial function, basically just a function that returns HTML. Uh, and it's going to take a name, and then it'll just print out a paragraph tag with the name in it. Just like with our x and y functions, you can see the value Chris is flowing through our hey partial. But there's another box underneath it. What we're seeing here is actually Lighttable interpreting our output as HTML and showing us what it would render like in the browser. Now we can just start playing around with the code. Uh, in this case, we'll modify, instead of passing around the string, we'll modify the function to take a map uh, with a key name. And so we'll change our invocation to be a map that has the name Chris. And you can see, even with destructuring, our values are flowing through as we would expect. The name symbol is being replaced with the value Chris. All right, so we can write code in this very dynamic environment, but let's start thinking about a way to break away from the notion that the smallest unit of code is a file. Instead, the smallest unit of code is really a function. And so what you can see here is a different way of organizing how I'm going to work in my workspace. Instead of having one or two editors with an entire file in it, I have multiple editors with single functions in it. This allows me to organize code based on functionality as opposed to simply where things might end up. And with that, I think we've set the stage for the grand finale. So I click on a function, and I get a block on the left-hand side with that function in it. All the blocks on the right-hand side are the code that is being called by this function. So you can see here, list item is shown, me, or shown for me, and header and footer. Now, we had this dynamic evaluation context. It should be able to work here, too. So you can see I type greetings to Chris, and that gave me some resulting HTML. And not only did it fill in my greetings function, it filled in the list item function as well. This allows us to actually see how values flow through our entire program. Even code that is from totally different files, totally different namespaces, maybe even different projects, really. This allows us to spot bugs and play around with our code in a way that is just impossible to do otherwise. We can see immediate feedback on the things that are happening, and we see how values flow through our entire program. This is a new kind of debugging, one that lets us understand our code in a much deeper way than we could before. And that's what Lighttable was designed to do, to help us code with a little illumination.